becoming a wonder to your generation. Part one. That is, this morning, I want you to follow me carefully as I share some deep things with us. Becoming a wonder to your generation. Don't forget this month is a month of prayers and evangelism. Somebody shout prayers. Amen. Shout it louder. Amen. If you believe it, you say louder. Amen. Amen. I just want to share two thoughts that I strongly believe will help us. If you want to be a wonder to your world, can I see your hand up? Say this after me. Say, I will be a wonder to my world. Say it louder than that. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Somebody shout, I may wonder. With that number. My dimension of teaching might be different today, but let's just follow me carefully. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Let's read together. For but as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor hear hear, neither has they enter into the heart of any man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Hold on. Look at the screen. Let me read carefully. It says, but. Now, the word but simplifies that there was something said before. And I said, with all the things that have been said, but, somebody shall but, as it is written, eyes have not seen. What eyes have not seen is wonder. Am I right? Ears have not heard. Is still what? Wonder. It has not entered the heart of any man. Is still what? Wonder. Huh? It has not entered the heart of any man. The things, that is, that established the fact that they are not bad things. Because the Bible said, every good and perfect gift come from God. Now, here now, and I said, the things which the Lord, which God has prepared, God does not prepare bad things. He prepares good things. Am I right? He said, the things which God had what? Prepared. So much are prepared. Amen. You see, that established the fact that God has prepared something. But what this God has prepared, Chooks, is not for everyone. Everybody is praying, but it's not everybody that's receiving answers. His eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. That is Yanu. That is wonder. It has not entered the heart of your brother, your sister, your father, your mother, the president. But is what? Prepare for them that love him. That is, this thing that God has prepared is not for everyone. It's for some selected few. And those selected few are what? Those that love him. Somebody shall love. love. Now, let's read verse 10. Let's read verse 10. <clears throat> verse 10, let's read together. But God hath revealed them unto us by what is spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the deep things of god now listen the deep things of god is not for everyone the deep things of god is for them that love him now they that love him enjoy and experience the revelation of the spirit now, to be a wonder to your world, you must come to a platform where you function in the things God has revealed to us. The things eyes have not seen. The things that are not on the surface. The things that are not common. Somebody said they are not common. But these things can only be revealed by the Spirit. And the spirit does not reveal it to everyone. He reveals it to his lovers. To what? Lovers. Now follow me carefully this morning. Because God is about to shift somebody. 
To be a wonder to your world. To be a surprise to your world. To be a blessing to your world. Has nothing to do with your education. Has nothing to do with your background. Has nothing to do with your status. I have seen professors that are beggars. Is it making sense to somebody? I have seen big men children that are beggars today. Confused. But there's a key. Somebody shout there's a key. Shout it loud. Shout it like a Christian. Do you believe there's a key? Do you know what the key is? To them that love him. That's the key. To them that does what? I didn't hear that. To them that does what? To them that love him. Love for God will take you beyond any education. Education is good. I'm educated. But listen to me. Once you are educated and you have no love for God, you still die a beggar. When we talk about re blessings, re blessing has nothing to do with physical cash. There are people that have all the money, but they are sick. Re blessing is complete package. Complete what? And it's reserved for genuine lovers of God, not church players. Genuine lovers of God. The man, listening to me, listen, listen. There were three men that exhibited unusual dimension of the blessing in Bible days. And the key at which they broke into that realm was the key of love. One of them was the man Abraham. So much at Abraham. Abraham so much loved God to a point that God called him his friend. And you know, friendship is, a, is, is inerted on the ground of love. Am I right? You can't be a friend to somebody you know he doesn't love you. But God called Abraham his friend. He was a lover of God. And because he loved God to a point, God now inerted a covenant with him. A covenant. Somebody say covenant. That Abraham became the custodian of God's internal blessings. On the premise, on the ground of love for God. Do you know why you are struggling? Your love for God is questionable. There is no height God can take his lovers. No height. No height. I'm telling you the truth. You see, if you have a genuine friend... Listening to me, listening to everybody, look at me. Can I say something to you? To you? The Bible was talking about friendship. He said there's a friend that is closer than a brother. Now, if you have a friend that is closer than a brother, there is nothing he can do for you. Now, if you want to get what no man has gotten in your family, in your life, just be a friend of God. That's the answer. Once you are the friend of God, the devil is in trouble. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, look at it. Too. There's a friend that is closer than a brother. You are my brother. That is, there can be a friend that is closer to me. Than... Now, you want to get what nobody has got on, sir? Just be the friend of God. And to be the friend of God talks about the love for God. You love him to a point that God says from heaven, Wallahi, this one on my own. Am I talking to somebody here? See, once that is in place, you will knock before you knock. See, when the Bible said before they knock, the door will open. Before they call, it shall be given. It's not for everyone. It's for lovers. Romans chapter 8 from verse 35 to 38. Paul started speaking and Paul said, What is it that will separate me from the love of God? Now look at it. Paul was not among the first set of apostles. Paul was not there when Jesus was here. Paul never saw Jesus face to face. But there is no man, Old and Present Testament, that had revelation like Paul. Am I talking to somebody here? 
The reason was his heart was knitted to God. That Paul said something, I will rather die because of God than to live. When you come to that point in your life, there is no realm you can break into. You are crying too much because you don't love. It's not to sing, I love you, I love you. It's not in song, it's in action. Can I say something to you? Once your love for God is on point, your matter, God will carry on for head. Am I speaking to each other here? That is, you want to be a wonder. It's not many people talk. Just develop passion for God. Abraham got it by that. God now spoke from heaven and said, Abraham, of a truth, you have proven that you love me. He said, Wallahi, I swear, in blessings, I will walk. It's not for everyone. See, blessings is in categories. Blessings is in dimension. There are those that function in what we call swarm blessings. Swarm what? Talk to me. Swarm what? Where God said, anyone that wants to kill you, I will kill them first. Your enemy becomes my enemy. Your friend becomes my friend. Look up, everyone. Look up. Look at me. Genuine love for God will cost you something. It's not dressing fine. It's not dancing. You can dance and your heart is not for God. You can shout amen and your heart is not for God. Stretch your hand towards me. I release unusual passion to love God upon you now. Amen. I thought you say amen. amen. I thought you say louder amen. amen. Another man, look up, another man that experienced and lived unusual love for God and he became so wealthy and so blessed was the man Solomon. First Kings chapter 3 verse 3. The only qualification that was spoken about Solomon was that he loved the Lord. Not that he had BSc, Not that he had PhD. Can I say something to you? If you have masters and you don't have the master in your life, you still be poor. Did you hear what I said? You have master, but you don't have the master. You still be broke. You still suffer what the worldly people suffer. That is, if you want to be a wonder, align yourself with them. That is what we call divine alignment. Somebody say divine alignment. Shout it louder. Ask your neighbor, do you love God? Ask him very well. Quickly, as we close. If you love God, you will love his house. You can't say you love God and they force you to come to church. No. Can I say this to you? If you love him, you will love his house. David said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go. Not that I was angry. Not that I will go one day and I won't go the other day. Not that I will have to receive test message before I go. I was glad when they were said to me, let us go. You will love his house. You will want his house to be fine. This church is finer than my house. Far finer. Two, if you love him, you will give to him. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave. He didn't love the world and spoke in tongue. He didn't love the world and pray. He loved and he did what? He gave. That is, if you love him, you give to him. When you have problem in giving to the work of God, it's because you don't love him. When you love God, nothing makes sense to you except God. Everything is just God. Those are the people God wants to raise, not people that are after material things. I can tell how far you will go by your heart for him. When you see a lover of God, once he comes into each other, he's thinking of what to do. That is love also. Genuine ones. Just love him. Once you love him, you, there are things you don't struggle for. If you are struggling in life, it's because there is a missing link. And that missing link is the love link. When God settles it in his heart, 
that there is nothing you can give to him. You become, you are relaxed. It's God that said he will convert the wealth of the Gentiles to us. Eh? That he will collect their own and put it in your account. It's not for everyone. Who, it's for lovers. This week you will collect your own. Amen. I thought you say better amen. amen. I said this week, I speak as a prophet of God. Stretch your hand towards me. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you will collect your own. Do you love him? If you love him, you will tell people about him. That talks about evangelism. You see, when you are in a love with a woman, you, all your friends will know that woman. Come, I want to show my babe to you. I want to show my girl to you. When I was cutting my wife, I showed my wife to all my friends. You like her, you don't like her, my girl. But you must just know. Am I talking to someone here? If you love him, you will talk about him. You talk about him. If you are finding it hard to tell people, come with me to church, you don't love God. Evangelism, no. You can't even let people know that this is the church you attend. You don't love him. If you love him, you will tell people about him. If you love him, you will serve him. Why are we an adult being in a church? You are not in unit. You are not doing anything. Just sit down. Back up. And you feel you are enjoying life? Never. I've been serving God from the age of nine. From the age of what? Nine. From the age of nine. Till now, there is no Sunday I've missed church. Now you come to church today, you don't come tomorrow. You are just doing it yourself. That is, you want to be a wonder to your world. Settle the matter of love for God. Set to it. Tell yourself, Lord, I want to follow you. Is it making sense to you? I want to follow you. I want to just, I want to be sold out to you. Do you know what Matthew 6, 33 said as we close with that? Put it on the screen. Let's read it together as we close. Matthew 6, 33. Matthew 6, 33. Okay, let's read as a family. Matthew 6, 33. Want to go? Hold on. What should you seek first? Speak up. What should you seek first? But some of us who are seeking our belly first. We are seeking our pocket first. We are seeking our status first. There are young guys that women can even make them not to come to church. Once the smuggler said, don't go to church, you don't go. Don't serve, you won't serve. If you marry and you and your wife can't be serving God, that home is already in problem. Is it not church? There are churches you enter, you just know the pastor's wife. That's mama. You see mama, nice seat for that angel. One girl will be by a corner, be blowing her fan. Mama the mama. That's not servant. My wife, she's in the children's church, serving them. You want to kill a servant of God, you are dead before you talk of it. Your life is not hid in Christ. Not on your own. But your own, you love self more than you love God. He said, but now seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He didn't stop there. He said, every other thing shall be what? Added. You come to the realm of consistent addition. Before you think it is added. Before you pray it is added. Am I speaking to a church here? Not this one. Coronavirus have driven a lot of people from church. Anybody that always talk about coronavirus, we contact it. It is what you magnify, you attract. We will mag you see, we magnify God so that we can attract God. And the more of him you have, the more money you have. The more wealth you have, the more favor you have, the more blessings you have. Am I talking to someone here? That's how it works. Serve him all. If you love him, you will serve him. That's as I'm talking now, you are thinking of the unit to join. I want to be in the choir. I want to be in the greeters. I want to be in the ushering. Young girl, you can't serve God. See, if people are saying you are beautiful, you are beautiful. Use your beauty to serve God. Let me just say it for nothing. Because if you don't use your beauty to serve God, that beauty very soon, God said it will run dung on your face, shit. And when God rubs shit on person's face, now can't serve that. That your yellow face, sometimes like we call it black, though they rot inside. Because instead of you to use that face to smile, they serve God, you use that to do shakara. 
God gave you money. You want to use and they oppress people. Instead of you to use and do things in his house to give God glory so that I can give you more. Stretch your hand towards me. I want to say something that will happen before Sunday. Stretch it. Before my birthday, God will give you a miracle sign. Amen. This week of my birthday, stretch it towards me. It's my birthday week. I was asking God, say what? He said, let, let there be a program, game changer. Let the game change for them. Stretch it towards me. The God that sent me. Double help is coming to your direction now. I said double help is coming to your direction here. I said double help is coming to your direction here. I stand as one sent by God. As is okay to liberate the here by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the next 24 hours. Miracle is hitting you from all corners. Blessings is hitting you from all corners. Rise up on your feet, lift up your hands and give God all the glory. You, wave your hands, bless his name. Wave your hands, wave your hands, everyone, give him praise. Wave your hands and give him glory. Wave your hands, give him all the praise. Wave your hands, give him all the praise.